Hey guys, it's Lightning Toadit, and my video topic, I just kind of want to get this off my chest, is the, it's about Princess Daisy. Now, Princess Daisy that we all know and love is so underrated, can't, like, can you agree with me ab about this? Like, a, a million other people would agree with me on this, the fact that Nintendo literally hates Daisy. Nintendo, Why? Like, Daisy was so awesome when she was first introduced. She was sort of soft-spoken at first, but still had that kind of sassy, and she was very brutal. Like, if anything got in her way, she would just kick it out of her way. She was an awesome princess. And that's why I think she's my favorite princess out of the three princesses we have right now, which are Peach, Daisy, and Rosalina. Now, here's my thing. At first, I thought they were going to add Daisy to a Super Mario Brothers game. Like, Peach was in there. It was just like Mario, Luigi, and Peach, and then the Toads, Yoshi, like that. And then when Super Mario Galaxy happened, Rosalina was introduced, and you could play as Rosalina. Now, okay, since Rosalina's a new character, we all know that. You could play as her in that game, and I guess Daisy didn't have much to do in that game. But then when, uh... Super Mario Galaxy 2 happened, uh, I guess Daisy really didn't have a role to be there, but then when they made Super Mario 3D World, and I think Super Mario 3D Land, uh, Rosalina was playable, and Peach was playable, but not Daisy. Nintendo, why do you hate Daisy? Daisy has so much potential, and you just, you just sweep her under the rug. Why do you do that? I know why, because she is way different from Peach and Rosalina. And now, go watch the Critical Chicks. Like, you guys watching, look up the YouTube channel Critical Chicks. It's these group of chicks, it's like seven girls where they talk about gaming and stuff. Uh, I like watching their podcasts, they haven't updated it in two years, but I like watching their podcasts that they have uploaded over and over again, and I've watched a couple of them, and I remember they were talking about female characters, and they say Daisy is a clone of Peach. Daisy is nothing like Peach. I need to tell- how many times do I need to tell everyone here? How is Daisy a clone of Peach? First of all, appearance is one thing. Peach and Daisy used to have really long hair, which is- and the dresses kind of match, was like the only thing they had in common, but then, uh, when Daisy- when Nintendo decided to, like, up their graphics, like, once- the GameCube came out, they upload, they upgraded the Mario graphics, Daisy came with shorter hair, and sure, maybe her, her dress and Peach's dress were the same, but their personalities were a lot different. Peach was more soft-spoken, and didn't really want to fight much, whereas Daisy was ready to kick butt, like, now she continues to be, Daisy continues to be a skin for Peach in, like, Super Smash Bros., like, every single one, she is just a skin, swept under the rug. And then, what made me even more angry was the fact when Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U came out, Rosalina and Peach are playable, but Daisy is still a skin for Peach. Why? Daisy should be her own character. She would totally kick more butt than two of, than freaking Peach and Rosalina combined. Daisy has a lot more brute strength than both of them. Peach and Rosalina use their magic, and I do like Peach and Rosalina, but Daisy would be so much better on her own and not being a skin for Peach. Like, sure, Peach can, like, fly and use her, and, like, slap and kick. Like, Daisy, she would give the pimp slap from hell. Like, bam! She gave the pimp slap to Bowser in Mario Party 3. Like, just wham! The pimp slap from hell. And then, what else? Uh, oh yeah, not only the pimp slap from hell, but she would be able to, like, punch like peach and rosalina wouldn't would never do that and she would like to she would deliver hard blows kicks you name it and not have to use like any magic she would just use her own like her own fitness she would just use the skills she had like i'm pretty sh sure she could do like bat flips and all that because the shape she is in she is like so awesome in the sports games and she is only in spin-offs, like the sports games, Mario Kart, Mario Party, nothing else. No Super Mario Brothers or anything like that. She's just swept under the rug. 
And a lot of people had this weird theory that uh, since, since Daisy and Waluigi were both characters, that if Daisy gets her own game, then Waluigi needs to. Waluigi deserves nothing. Like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, hardly any people who like Waluigi. I absolutely don't like him. It's not because that he was, uh, not, well, it's not because he, that he was a character that, uh, I just didn't like, but I thought, I liked him at first, but then he just started to piss me off, and that's how I ended up not liking him, and it's not fair that Mario, well, Mario kind of gets his own game, so I, I can kind of see that, but his, Luigi gets a game, Peach gets a game, Yoshi gets a game, Donkey Kong gets a game, Wario gets a game, why, Daisy is such a loved character, she needs her own game, like, I could totally think of one right now where it doesn't have to be like Super Mario Bros. It could be like Super Princess Daisy, but nothing like Super Princess Peach for the DS. It could be like Super Princess Daisy for the, for the Wii U, and it could be her. It could be like her uh, kingdom, Seraph's Land, uh, being invaded by Bowser and his minions, or just aliens or something like that, something evil, and then. Maybe it could be like a co-op game, and maybe maybe she could like call in Luigi to help her, and you could play as Luigi and Daisy and help defeat the enemy, whether Bowser, aliens, something like that, or uh, or maybe if you do, or maybe maybe if it is another Super Mario Bros, uh, like saving Princess Peach, since Daisy is Peach's cousin, maybe you could uh, put like. You can have Mario, Luigi, and instead of like Blue Toad and Yellow Toad, you can do Mario, Luigi, Daisy, and just Toad. Just put Toad. Mario, uh, Mario, Luigi, Daisy, and Toad. I could, I could totally see Daisy joining Mario and Luigi to help. She wants to fight, and she wants to kick Bowser's butt. And that's what I love about Daisy. And no, and Nintendo refuses to put her in any more games. And that is what makes me sick. And then people start calling her a Peach clone because... Uh, I think it's because of the way Nintendo is treating her. And trying to make her similar to Peach. But they are... Peach and Daisy are completely different in personality. Now the way they dress, it could be similar. But personality is different. So everyone out there who thinks... Daisy is a clone of Peach, and get your facts right, because they are nothing alike, I tell you. And I, and Daisy is, like, the best princess ever. She has, like, a lot more attitude than Peach and Rosalina. I feel like Rosalina is just another spin-off of Peach, but I do like Peach and Rosalina. I do like them. But Rosalina does not deserve to be in more games than freaking... Then Daisy, like she, no, I, I'm going to boycott this. This is my boycott to Nintendo. Nintendo, put Daisy in a Super Mario Bros. game. I'm tired of her being swept under the rug. She is a character with great potential, and you refuse to even bring that out. And you just put the spotlight to Peach and Rosalina. Now, Peach, I can understand, but Daisy... Daisy does not deserve to be swept under the rug just for Rosalina to step in. If that's the reason why you created Rosalina, you are dumb. Do not give me that crap. Rosalina, I love you because you're like a, a galaxy princess, but you are not replacing Daisy. I will always choose Daisy over you and Peach. <sighs> God, Nintendo. You need to step up your game. If you put Daisy in a Super Mario Bros. game, everyone will love it. Like, she could do a lot more than Peach and Rosalina. I know, I'm like repeating everything again, but it is true. Daisy could do a lot more. Like, if you were to make another Super Mario 3D World, like Super Mario 3D World number two, put Daisy in instead. Or, here's my thing. You can do... Since this is how Super Mario 3D World works out, it's uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, uh, Blue Toad, and Rosalina. Put Daisy in! That's all you need to do! And, or you can just make a whole little series. Like, make another Luigi's Mansion and 
make Daisy like the person you have to save from King Boo. Do something like that. Don't refuse to acknowledge her and just put her in spin-off games. And another thing about Baby Daisy. Baby Daisy, she needs to be in another game. Like, if there's any other games that involve, like, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, I think the last one that involved those two, uh, Baby Peach was in there, and then Baby Rosalina was in there. And then another thing that makes me sick is that Luigi is attracted to Daisy. Like, if you have the, the handbook for Mario Party 4, look at it, and you will see that Luigi is attracted to Daisy. That's his love interest. And you know that the lo the romance between them is a lot stronger than Mario and Peach. And then, when Super Mario Galaxy 2 came out, it said that Luigi was interested in Rosalina. No! I do not support this crap. F th this is proof that Nintendo hates Daisy. I'm not making this stuff up. I swear. <sighs> Luigi and Rosalina. Well, it will never work out. Luigi and Daisy. All the way. No, Nintendo. You are making a bunch of mistakes by putting Rosalina in the spotlight. Sure, Rosalina could be in the spotlight, but don't exclude Daisy. Put If she is not in the next Super Mario Bros. game, I'm... I think I'm just going to stop buying those games altogether because I honestly cannot stand you guys doing this to her. I just can't. I I don't know what to say, but... Oh. Poor Daisy. She doesn't deserve this. Oh. And then, back to the critical chicks. When they talk about Daisy being a clone of Peach, they say Rosalina is a lot better. And I don't understand how Rosalina is a lot better. Sure, she's a galaxy princess. But she and, I think she and Peach have similar personalities. It's just the different... It's just different where they came from. Yeah, Peach is the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom back on Earth. And then Rosalina is like the galaxy princess. I think that's why they like her. Because she's a galaxy princess. And because she can actually do stuff. Now that's so dumb. Rosalina and Peach are very much alike. If Daisy were to have her own game, I would buy it. And if you were to... Nintendo, if you were to be putting her in like the, Super, in the new Super Mario Bros. games that come out, I will buy it and I will love it. Because that you will gain my respect for hearing the Daisy fans like me, Epic Luigi, uh, Wizard Sexy Flakes. Like all of those people who are Daisy fans. You, you will just gain... I feel like your sales would boost. Like this... Like your sales for the Super Mario Bros. games would boost. Because... Because if you add a Daisy... Like a lot of people want Daisy. She... She would do so much more. Like if you put her instead of like Rosalina or Peach. Or just put all three of them together. Then that would be fine. Just don't... Ex don't just put Peach and Rosalina. Rosalina is new. Daisy's been here since 1989. And Rosalina's been here since like the 2000s. And Rosalina's already getting more recognition than Daisy. Which is un which is completely unfair. Anyway guys, that is my rant for this night. I know, I'm recording this really late at night. And I don't usually do rants. But this is one of my rants about... And it's particularly about Daisy. And as you can see, I had a lot to say. So anyway, guys, this is Lightning Toadette or Call Me LT signing off. I will see you guys later on. Bye.